Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from NG Fire. Man shuts down arrogant woman in a heated debate. Is it really a debate? Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Do that, Chow. It's Chow Time. I know you're so oppressed, my dears. I know life is so hard for you. You have to live in the richest, most equitable, most just country in the history of the world. You have to get a college education. You have to voluntarily go to lectures. It's so awful. I can't imagine that, you know, the people who are in war torn nations, they must truly pity you. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye then. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate your support, but I'm not that intimidated by these guys. <laughs> You d deep down are able to become alpha, but you. <laughs> oh, I'm not alpha. No, right now, if you. What am I? What would you could describe me as? He would be one celebrity that I would definitely not call an alpha. Beta. beta. Yeah, beta. You think I'm a? <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> unfortunate you had potential. Hey, hey, dude, you're a too. Whoa, 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 whoa. But that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that's true. Why? Because I'm a beta saying it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel now this is an interesting video it's a feminist who believes that if you are not a feminist that that could be an act of discrimination so yeah pretty crazy stuff let's get into it did he just say what i thought he said feminists say if you're not a feminist that's discrimination? What the fuck is going on now, guys? A judge in an employment tribunal in Peterborough has said that claiming not to be a feminist could be an act of discrimination. What the I quote fuck? the judge who said it would appear that a feminist is simply about all genders having equal rights and opportunities no, it's as men. No, not, you lying. Judge confessed the tribunal was perplexed by the defendant's non-feminist views and suggested such opinions would be in breach of equality laws. I'm as perplexed as the judge by his statement that feminism relates to all genders, right? implying more than two. I thought feminism was about women, not the transgender ideology. But discrimination must require action rather than a lack of belief. As long as others are treated equally under the law, is there one definition of feminism that must be believed? This seems an extraordinary intrusion into personal belief. Tessa, is it compulsory, basically, to agree with you? And you may think it should be, but is that a sensible way for the law to go? Isn't that why you have me here? It's your <laughs> token feminist. <laughs> so that you aren't entirely shut down by a tribunal, the establishment that is GB News. Um, no, I looked up the definition of feminism for you, Jake, because I thought you might need some help in this area. It is the advocacy of women's rights, people like me, on the basis of the equality of the sexes. So that is baked into law, last updated well, as well, we discovered. Well, hold on. Baked into law, the equality, and yes. I'm all in favour of yes. that, but advocacy. To say that it is compulsory to advocate something is very different from saying that something is the law of the land. It's good to see you, your, your usual pedantry self. Yeah, that's what you'd expect. Um, what my all, viewers and listeners expect. <laughs> indeed. Mm -hmm. It's important to say that this manager, he was an environmental agency manager, therefore he had a level of agency within his agency. Um, they were contesting his maintenance of a non-feminist view. They suggested that was discriminatory, i.e. as a manager, by maintaining non-feminist views that impacts on your ability to uh, treat uh, your employees and your co-workers but, uh, equally. Does what? it? If he treated everybody equally, the fact that he didn't believe in feminism was surely his choice. But he was maintaining his non-feminist stance, which is counter to equality. It runs counter Not to equality. Not if he didn't do anything what about it. Muta. This is where we're going now? This is where we're going now. Anti-feminists are against equality or against women. What the fuck? Feminism is not about equality anymore. It's about crushing the patriarchy. It's about what? women gaining the upper hand over men. That's not equal. You oh, are you another beleaguered male? Can, I'm not a feminist. You can believe in equality, right? But you don't have to be a feminist to believe it. Correct. And if this man is saying he's not a feminist, he might well be saying, I don't believe in crushing the patriarchy. I don't believe in creating an environment that's negative for men. I understand that you're actually half my age and you perhaps haven't been around quite long enough to understand what feminism literally means in its legal <clears throat> defined context. So I just need to stop right there because she's already gone to the insults. She started off by trying to patronise Jacob Rees-Mogg at the beginning. Now she's attacking this guy's age. 
saying he doesn't know what he's talking about because he's half her age. Well, he should have said, well, I think I do know what I'm talking about because you're double my age and you're clearly out of touch with reality. <laughs> Could you imagine the meltdown she would have had if he said that? But yeah, only interested in criticizing the men rather than explaining her point, which she obviously doesn't have a point. Anyway, let's get back into it. Text. What's happened since you grew up is that the culture wars have taken words like feminism and they've injected them with all kinds of potency, which actually are deeply unhelpful to the cause of equality and the right. cause of women. If I don't identify with that word then, which has been injected with all, with all of this politics, am I being discriminatory? If I say in the workplace that I don't believe in DEI, am I saying that I don't believe in racial equality? Of course I'm not. I'm, not, I'm saying that I don't believe in the politics of DEI. I'm, I don't believe in the politics of feminism. How is that discriminatory? Well, I think what we need to do is divorce the definition of feminism from the way in which you clearly see some individuals as using it as a tool to whip the likes of you with and your rights with. I will go back to read the um, dictionary, Oxford Dictionary definition of feminism, the advocacy of women's rights. The definition, like, we change words all the time. When I was growing up, bad was good. And then it became sick. Then now I don't know. Now it's riz and cap and all these other things. What is a cap? It is a hat, a hat that you put on, but now it's, you're capping something like the words get changed up on the basis of the equality of the sex. But Mute has point is absolutely spot on. It has become a political advocacy of something. I'm all in favour, strongly in favour of equality before the law. I think it is the most fundamental mm. principle uh, of British law. But that doesn't mean that I believe that there is equality of all genders. I don't actually think there are more than two genders anyway. And this judge is on about there being a whole slew of genders. That's very odd, isn't it? I'm... This judge is... I didn't, I didn't catch yeah, yeah. that, is he? He said um, uh, that his definition of feminism, or as we're all now going to pronounce it, uh, feminism, yeah. um, is that it relates to all genders. Now, once you say all genders, all implies more than two. Now, actually, you're a feminist. Mm. How many genders do you believe in? Well, in the eyes of the law, the protected characteristics of different individuals equates to more than just two sexes. It includes more than two genders. So I, I would say so I'm separating feminists... sex from gender, and I would say that while I recognise two sexes, there may be more people are, are, identify so with more than two genders. Are feminists protected or endangered by a man in a frock going into ladies' loose? I've silenced Tessa. That's the first no, thing that's I'm ever happened. It, I, Moot has. I'm what, getting... what, what are the other genders? What are they? Well, I'm not somebody who identifies out with my gender, which is female, but I know that there are those with protected, protected characteristics, um, you know, transsexuals, who have a different idea of their own gendered identity. And who am I to quibble with that? I really think what, what concerns me greatly is that the likes of Jacob Rees-Mogg, who's more likely to be found in the sort of golf house or the gentleman's drinking club than he ever is campaigning for equality and, and women's rights and worrying about our safety, suddenly gets very hot under the collar if a man wears a woman's frock and says he's a woman and then goes into a female space. That's, I mean, do, in any other context do you ever get worried about female no, safety? No, no, this is something that women are concerned about. Some and women, I think, a, and a I few think women. Are, and I think a few women. Too. The only reason we're hearing so much about this is because men like you have jumped on their no, bandwagon. No, we're hearing so much about it because of feminists, yes. ironically. It's people exactly. like J.K. Rowling. <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree, and it's a, it's a rabbit hole right. that I wish feminism, which has got far greater right. causes to fight, like equality, justice, economic justice T for women. Tessa having been momentarily silenced is now making up for it, but thank you to my panel. So let's get this straight. So she's a woman who identifies as a feminist, but she just proved that she doesn't actually care about women's safety. The two men here actually seemed more concerned about the women's rights than she did. And I think it's funny how she's insisting that in order to treat people fairly, you need to be a feminist. If anything, I'd probably say a feminist is more likely going to treat people unfairly, if Correct. I'm being honest. That's, that's what I think. I think feminists are very discriminatory against other people that are not feminists. Let me know what you think down below. But when she starts agreeing with the gender ideology, then that doesn't really make sense because both of them ideas contradict each other. So, and remember, this is what they're teaching in schools to young kids. Now, this is a video I found from what high schools were actually like in the 60s. I and mean, this is what they should be like today, as opposed to what they're teaching them today. Check it out. People are shocked at what American high school gym class looked like in the 1960s. I wish Jim was like this. When I was growing up, Jim was pretty Jimmy. You know, like we worked out, we played a lot of sports. Nowadays, I don't know what the gym is. I don't even know if there's still gym or 
fucking PE or whatever. This footage is from one of the 4,000 U.S. high schools that followed La Sierra's physical education program that was pushed to be the standard model by JFK. The minimum push-ups that a student should be able to do is 16, and they should have at least a se Oh, cool. I'm on the minimum. <laughs> seven and a half minute mile run. Considering most modern Americans struggle to even complete five push-ups, this 16 minimum is quite shocking. The top group that was outlined in the handbook is blue team. And to be a part of this, you had to be able to perform 12 handstand push-ups and at least 14 pull-ups, which are crazily impressive standards. Oh, 14 pull-ups? That is actually quite high on standards. Many people wonder if America will ever return to a place even close to this. But considering no. the trends in obesity and the culture until we get a full reset you know you know good men cause good times good times cause bad men bad men cause good times or bad times and then it starts all over again and that's when we'll see it your shift of america it continues to seem unlikely some things to think about 1960 real men 2024 what is a woman yep that's how far we've gone Anyway, check this out. This is a study from 2007, which revealed a substantial drop in US men's testosterone levels since the 1980s, an average level declining by 1% per year. That means, for example, that a 60 year old man in 2004 had testosterone levels 17% lower than those of a 60 year old in 1987. Another study of Danish men produced similar findings with double digit declines among men born in the 1960s, compared to those born in the 1920s. So Damn. men are getting weaker. I think that's pretty obvious. We've only got to look at some of the men walking around today. And they're not doing it. I've been emailing them every single day to stop putting the meat emojis in the phones. Like it should be illegal. It's offensive to me and it's triggering to people like me who are <laughs> this vegan and it's so <laughs> triggering. And I don't know why they don't take them off the iPhone because they're so triggering. God, it Smells like bitch in here. <laughs> it's almost like they want you to be weak. Someone said, make them weak, keep them poor. That's yep. why everyone sat at home staring at their screens, drinking soy milk. Beta! Come on, get yourself together, be a man. <laughs> so, really don't like that it put a Bible verse on my food without my consent. I don't want to eat John 3.16. Get your John 3.16 out of here. God. What? Ew. Ew to all of this. Ew. Yes, number People are forced to call you different pronouns without their consent. I'm forced to share the woman's restroom with a man without my consent. Mm. They put a Bible verse on the bottom of my cup without my consent. They put pride flags on my shit without my consent. Yep. All of June, get over it. Companies don't have to ask your permission for anything. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. Here is the update on the interview I just had. So I walk in and this older guy is at a desk and he looks me up and down. All right, just off the fuck rip. What the fuck is on your face, dude? What is up with all that? You got two on the side, one big ass one in the center, and you got like one little dot here, one dot here. What the fuck is going on? How do you even eat? Like what? And I go, hi, I'm, you know, full name. Uh, I'm here for the interview. And he goes, you're full name and i go yep that's me he seemed a little disappointed for some reason but i was trying to keep it cheerful and you know see if i still have my chance i guess but no it turns out all of a sudden he actually hired someone and had this whole elaborate backstory for this person that he supposedly just hired and is giving a try um, but if that elaborate totally real person doesn't work out guess who's getting a call that's right me now i'm no genius but i think it's because you have 10 piercings on your head someone said i've hired people exactly like oh shit i didn't realize there were so many more on the ears <laughs> oh crap this what i found was as soon as there is any level of deficiency in their work that needs to be addressed they immediately accuse you of harassment yep. unfair treatment Accountability is something they don't like and they will gaslight the, he the heck out of you and your company if you try to bring it to them. Um, that's true. That's fucking true. Darren Carter, you think men like these are afraid of an uneducated 125 pound punk like you that's never won a fair fight in your life and holds your gun sideways? Young man, I'll meet you on solid ground anytime, anywhere, light or heavy. Makes no difference to me. You won't walk away. And the convicts in jail? Most of those men are good people who just found themselves crossed with the law. They're not evil, and they don't respect you or any punk like you. They'll toss you around like a rag doll. And True. for those who would use this message as a way to create false racial division in our country, 
take a close look behind me. Standing next to every cop is a leader of our black community. This is not about race. It's about right versus wrong. One last message to the gremlins. You don't like the things I've told you tonight? I got one thing to say. I'm easy to find. That's what I'm talking about! Shout outs to NG Fire. You know, it really made sense when Donald Trump said, make America great again. A lot of Americans rallied to it. And makes sense because a lot of them remember how Americans used to be and how America used to be. But nowadays, it's a shell of its former self. So I can see why that tagline really hit people. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.